everyone, and welcome back to Manda TME, and welcome back to Inspector Waffles. Uh, I feel like it's been a moment since we've played this, and I know it really hasn't been that long. I think just, uh, oh my gosh, there's just so much um, to remember. So anyway, uh, I think we are finally making some serious headway into kind of unveiling this massive conspiracy. Uh, so why don't we get back into the game and see what other mischief we can get into. Alright. Let's go ahead and just look at where we're at. DNA confirmation, a magnet, the milk, the wool ball collectible, and the postcard. Okay, and we're totally right about, um, a lot of things. Okay. Anything special? No. Okay. Waffles, I was coming to find you. What's up? I just finished the jamming device. Here you go. Right. Excellent. How does it work exactly? I made it easy for you. Push the red button, give it a second for the program to load itself, and it'll be ready to go. What do I need to plug this into? Nothing at all. It's got a blue canine chipset. It only needs to be in proximity to the laser, not hardwired into anything. This is really impressive. Anything else I need to know? Well, it's not fully tested. I didn't have enough time for that, but I'm confident it'll, it'll work as it should. Here's hoping. I guess we don't have any other options. And if it doesn't, just try to create a short circuit. That always works. You probably need a screwdriver for that. You never know. Get one for Patches. He still has one of mine. Perfect. Thanks, Pixel. You know where I can find him? Waiting for you at reception. It's time for me to get some shut-eye. Best of luck, Inspector. Yeah, he's had a rough day. <laughs> Finally, are you two ready to go? Did Pixel drop off the jammer? Yep, I got it with me. What's the plan from here? You and Spotty will circle the building looking for anything suspicious. Hopefully you'll get lucky and spot the laser. Peanut, myself, and the rest of the force will be inside protecting everyone else from the laser, should it activate. Well, approach the building. we'll approach the building from different routes to attract as little attention as possible. I think we've got a solid plan, Spotty. You ready? All set. Before we leave, Pixel told me you have a screwdriver I'll need for the laser. Oh right, I forgot to give it back to him. Don't think I'll be opening any more grates for a while. All yours. Thanks. We're on our way. Good luck to both of you. Hey, do you remember the first time we drove this road together? Yeah, of course. It was just a couple days ago. I need to get something off my fur coat. I was so excited to be working with you, I did a poor job of sniffing. My job performance wasn't up to sniff, I mean snuff. I'm sorry for that, for costing you valuable time on the case. It won't happen again. Don't even worry about it. Just look at what I did with that fake cult nonsense and making a fool of myself in front of Patches. But you kept believing in me. We kept our noses down, trusted our animal instincts, and proved everyone wrong. Mistakes are part of the job. Can't expect to be perfect all the time. In the end, you've proven yourself. You've made a stubborn cat like me change my mind about how valuable sniffing is to an investigation. Inspector, that means so much. You're one of the nicest cats I've ever met. Bah, forget it. No biggie. Time to focus on the investigation. We're almost there. And if that nose of yours picks up anything unique, let me know. Taking you so long, my friend. We've already started without without you. What? Your car had a blowout on the drive here. How is this possible? You're supposed to be the luckiest dog in the world. A flat tire? But how can that be? That is the opposite of lucky. Okay, understood my friend. The boss will not be happy that you're late, but I'll let him know. See you soon. Now, I have a nervous feeling in the pit of my stomach. No more lucky charm. It's 
sniffs the smell is coming from this direction. Wait, whose voice is that? That scent. That's how you smelled. That's how you smelled when you came back to the Maple Market from the cave system. Like tobacco, but worse. The stop smells here, right in front of the dental cat. Good to see you again, Waffles. Hey, Meatballs, what brings you here? That's none of your business, little cat. By the way, did you enjoy our performance in the cave? To be honest, the production quality was pretty good. I actually fell for it. It was fun setting news up, my friend. I enjoy the small talk, really. But you mind if we get inside? I say it's just the two of you. Yep, just us. No, my friends. Is he needing a warrant, Inspector? No. He knows we can't beat him in a fight. He's probably armed, too. That is correct, little cat. We do not want our cordial meeting to get messy. Do not think I forgot how I used to bully you in kindergarten. I don't like him, Inspector. I don't like him either, Spotty. He used to absolutely terrorize me when I was a kitten. I guess we need to call for backup. No can do. They're all guarding the debate arena. But I have another idea. I remember back when we were in school, the only person who could get Meatballs to stop picking on everyone was his mom. We were all afraid of her, but Meatballs even more than us. Just need to find a way to contact her. And you think this is the easiest way into the building? It's either this or we put our paws up. You want to fight him? Not really. I'm a sniffer dog. I was trained to smell, not fight. And we gotta do what we gotta do. What if we call our mom? Hmm. Where do you think you're going, my minuscule friend? It is forbidden for you and your dog companion to pass through. We need to find a way to get rid of meatballs. Okay, well, can our mom call his mom? I don't want a clue, I just, I think that's like what you would do, right? Little Waffles, how you doing, sweetie? Just want to ask you something. Oh, it's about the car again. That, do you remember that cat meatballs from when I was young? Oh yes, I think so, dear. Isn't that the kitten who always wanted to pick on you? One and the same, but now he's not a kitten. He's threatening to punch me with his ginormous paws. I'm scared, Mommy. What should I do? No one bullies my waffles around. I think I've got his mother's number around here somewhere. Ah, here it is, dear. I'll take care of this. Thanks, Mom. Anything for you, dear. Let's hope this works. Yes! Mom to the rescue! I kind of feel like I had to manipulate my own mother. Hope she doesn't see it that way. I want to see Meatball's mom. Oh, she's tall. Meatballs! I like that her name is just Meatball's mom. Uh, mother, how are you doing this lovely day? She called him by his name. He is in trouble. Are you picking fights with other cats? Again? Ma, I would never. It's not... When will you ever grow up, Meatballs? I did not raise you to bring shame to your family. I'm just... You're coming with me right now. Ma, please. I do not want to upset you any further, but I'm currently on the job. Working? This is your work? Here in this empty alley? And you're smoking cigars, like always. Don't you know what are those do to you? I'm working, Ma. I swear. You swear? Do you think I'm stupid? No, Ma, I would never imply such a thing. You're coming with me, mister. And enough with that accent. You were born here in Cat Town like the rest of us. But Ma, what what? Don't you dare talk back to your mother. You come with me right now or so help me. Can I please call someone first? Okay, okay, yes ma'am, I'm coming. That's what I thought. Whew, that was painful to watch. But now we've got one less bad cat to deal with. And if Meatballs was here, the other cats can't be far. I think we're ready to move, Spotty. Keep your eyes peeled. 
Ooh, I gotta, I gotta dump that New Jersey A all of a sudden. Oof. I like finding his mom, though. All right. First of all, no more trash can searches. Come on, man. This is Milk Punch, one of the strongest drinks you can find in Cat Town and rum. Instant burning sensation. Even I can't stand it. I can't put an open glass in my pocket, and I'm not going to walk around holding it. Thought I'd be cool to look like a secret agent in some diplomat's manner, but nothing. Should find something to pour the milk into. Hmm, I could fill my flask with some of the milk punch. We just drink and eat whatever. Oh my gosh, I thought dogs were bad. Okay. Spectre, are you going to drink that? Oh goodness, no. But this stuff is probably 90% alcohol, so it could come in handy. This building looks abandoned. Why was Meatballs guarding it? Not sure yet, but something's fishy here. The laser has to be here somewhere. And about the laser, we haven't had time to talk about it. I don't know what'll happen if it's activated, but if it is, just keep your eyes closed. Don't worry about me. Just protect yourself. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, okay? Of course. I'll follow your orders, Inspector. Good. Now we need to find that laser. I'm pronto. Spotty, do you smell anything special? No, sorry. I think it's a regular old medicine cabinet. Good shape overall. It used to be mounted on the wall, but it's just laying on the ground. Door's locked. Okay, let's do a little... Hmm, it's pitch black in here. Can't see two paws in front of me. The switch isn't working. And there are sparks coming from the thing. Funny, funny. Hmm. You coming, Spotty? I, I would rather not. Oh, right. Forgot. You in the dark don't get along. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. No worries, bud. Stay put, and I'll be back soon. Switch obviously doesn't work. Obscured miscellaneous junk. Can't make out anything. Need to find a way to get the lights on before poking around in here. Okay, probably this is the dumbest idea ever. It's not working. Um, okay. Let's come back out here for a minute. Let's go up. Wait, hold on a second. What is it? I'm smelling something. No, someone. They're in the building, somewhere upstairs. Oh, you're right. Now that I'm paying attention, I can hear someone talking loudly in the distance. Really? I can't hear a thing. Maybe your hearing is as bad as your sniffing is good. Anyways, let's keep quick. Maybe I can hear what they're saying. What are you saying? This is a joke, right? The luckiest dog in the known universe gets a flat tire. How is that possible? No, no, just stay where you are. You could be in danger if you get here when the laser is live. Of course it's dangerous. I mean, we're the bad guys after all. Excuse me. You might be lucky, but you aren't that bright, you know? Yeah, and Meatballs isn't answering his phone right now either. I'm not sure, but something strange is going on. I need to get back to the boss. Later, Chance. And don't do anything stupid. I think we're getting close now, but we can't go up to the stairs just yet. Pretty sure that was Pepper's voice I was hearing. I've heard him. He's one of the most wanted... I've heard of him. He's one of the most wanted cats in Cat Town. Exactly. Him and Trouble go paw and paw. We need to be silent and sneaky. I hesitate to suggest this, but... We can get around through the window. Ooh, I don't know if I should. Dogs aren't very agile, you know. Yeah, I know. As much as I hate hate it, this is a job for a cat. Be careful, Inspector. Is there anything else in this room we can use? No. Okay. The laser. Holy cow, that thing is way beefier than I expected. I should move a little closer and switch on Pixel's gadget. Oh, wow. It's aimed at where the debate is taking place. I gotta hurry. All those lives are in danger, and they have no idea what's up here. 
No, Mabel, that's a subject we strongly disagree on. You are clearly not very a very open-minded cat, Cookie. I would greatly reduce crime in the city. We cannot sterilize cats. We as a society are better than that. Almost 83% of citizens want lower crime rates in Cat Town. You've done nothing at all about it. Should we discuss the heist that occurred just yesterday? Every single police officer was stationed at a single location in another part of the city. The criminal stole a big ruby with zero police intervention. Who exactly does the city belong to? I want to use the remainder of my time to res um, in respect to Fluffy's death, who recently suffered a tragic memory, who recently survived. Oh god! I want to use the remainder of my time in respect to Fluffy's memory, who recently suffered a tragic death. That event saddens me greatly, and I know it does the citizens of Cat Town as well. I found a vow to find a way to avoid a shortage of boxes. Every cat in this town deserves a good cardboard box at home. Anyway, time to focus on how to use Pixel's device on this Mondo laser. Good hmm. grief, the laser is huge. How powerful is this thing? There's a hatch on the end of it. Ooh. The hatch is screwed to the laser device. Heck yeah, I've got a thing for that. The hatch is too far for me to use the screwdriver, and I'm not going to try climbing that. I need to find a way to get closer to it. Have I said before how much I hate pigeons? I really hate pigeons. When I'm trying to take a nap at the office, they're always coming up to the window, cooing and flapping, waking me up. Pigeons are the worst. Key. Hmm, a key is just there. But I can't grab it. The gap in the window is too small. No way I can remove the planks or the glass without alerting Pepper. We've got a thing for that. I can um, try using the magnet to get the key since it still has a remaining charge. Ooh, the key is slowly moving, wiggling ever closer. Sweet, got it. Good work, tiny magnet. Your job here is done. You are a good friend to me on this adventure. Okay, I have an idea. The key in the cabinet's lock seem to be a match. Will it open? It sure does. Lots of goodies in here. Some medicine to deal with the stress of anxiety. This must have been an office building in the past, so I guess I shouldn't have expected much. Bandages? Rules of bandages. I'm gonna take one in case. Let's hope we don't get hurt. A syringe. Kind of gross, but otherwise intact. I'll take it because it could come in handy. I feel like there's something we should be doing in here. Suck up the milk punch from the flask into the syringe. I could use it to do a precise spray from a distance. This could actually prove useful. Okay, well, that's not what I was hoping, but, like, that's awesome. Um... Yes, I'm not really sure, but we might need that location before we leave. here. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Yeah, for real, dude.
You better not go upstairs. Pepper doesn't know. Find a way to get closer to the laser. I can unroll the bandage around the screwdriver's handle, and voila, now I can attach this to another object, not something usable. Sorry guys, if this takes a while, I'll uh, yeah, trim this a little bit. Doesn't smell anything. Let's go upstairs. Let's see if he smells anything. Can you smell anything? The dog I picked up the scent on isn't far from where we're standing. And I'm smelling a cat as well. Hmm, let's not go farther in. There's gotta be something. Can't use it on myself. We might have to call mom on this one. just be missing like a point here. Going over for dinner. Sure. Now that meatballs is gone, what should I do next? Try locating the laser somewhere in the building, dear, and then you can use Pixel's jamming device on it. Thanks, Mom. Always. Okay. Well, like... Am I dumb? Like... Oh, okay, that's not what I was expecting. It's turning on, lots of tech, blah, 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 mumbo jumbo. Come on, come on. Ooh, the screen is red. That typically means something is bad. Uh, stack buffer overflow. Hmm, that seems worse. 
This little button is doing nothing. Perfect. And I'll just work and adjust. Oh, because we're supposed to... Um, I'll open this hatch and destroy everything in it. It's just this specific enough to work. Okay, wait. Didn't he say that we needed to overload it? I mean, I could be wrong. So we like, we're here. Don't you have something in your backpack that has electrical cables? Try salvaging those with some sort of, oh. Okay, wait, so now we use the screwdriver on the jamming device. So I guess I can pull some spare parts from it. Oop, broke the screen. I think I've seen that doohickey inside a toaster once. No, wait, maybe not. Hmm. Except the tank, the cables, everything is a mangled mess. Can we try fixing the box now? Because this room is obviously here for a reason. Body, you'll need to come in here. I've got the cables you requested. Think you can fix the light with these? Yes, but you're gonna stay close by, right? I'll be right here with you, buddy. I'll keep you safe. Okay, thanks. Coming in. Okay. Cables run in good shape, but it should work for now. I'm colorblind though, so we'll see soon if I need any of the wires <laughs> crossed up. Uh, good either way. Thanks, buddy. This barrel is rusty and dangerous. Not gonna risk cutting myself trying to pry it open. Broken broom. This broken broom could be handy later. But can't we use the broom on the rusty barrel? It's not working. Okay. Paint tools. Cleaning products. Containers are empty. Not those supposed to be cleaned at this point anyway. Couple boxes from box furniture. Heh, <laughs> kinda ironic. Maybe we're finally coming full circle. Wood ball card. There's a wood ball card stuck in the ceiling. How can I get my paws in it? Can't reach the card, it's too high up. A little further? So if I combine the screwdriver and the broken broom, and then tie it together with this bandage, tighten the bandage as much as I can. Oh, perfect for that hard to root screw. Nice. Alright. Yeah, come on. Too bad I'm not a giraffe. Amazing. Okay. Alright guys, well I think we know what we're doing next. 
Um, yeah, and I think we're getting there. So let's leave off right here. Um, and we'll come back to it. All right, guys, I'm having a blast playing this game, and I think it's obvious that we're going to be wrapping up very, very soon. So let me know what you thought of this game. Um, it was so cute. At least I think it was so cute. So anyway, guys, take care, and as always, happy sipping.